Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to today's Bitcoin update for uh, Thursday, 9th of June. And uh, first of all, right off the bat, I just want to say that uh, today's signal, free signal is going to be CIS to USDT. So we're buying at 2454, putting a stop loss here and uh, selling at 0 0.267. And the reason is because uh, there's inverse head and shoulder right now. So boom, left shoulder here, head and right shoulder so hoping that you know coming right at, we're buying really right at the support level so uh, very low risk here if it does come down to this place 2409 then that's probably a trade that is not going to work and this is actually a risk of 1.17 percent loss and you're looking for a good 9 10 percent loss so amazing i don't think the loss is very low risk okay so hoping this one does work out it's going to be amazing trade so let's go back into the bitcoin update. and do join our discord if you want to uh don't if you don't want to miss this free perks here and there sometimes i'm posting now talking about bitcoin you know the title of the video says that trading is like a child okay you are looking after a small kid it doesn't matter if you're not a parent or not but pretty sure you've been around kids somehow because you see i understand that so many people you know they think that uh, buying something is is just uh, anything like that. You just buy something and then that's it. Boom. Uh, it's over. You're going to get uh, the profits. The biggest side of trading when you're buying before buying is to actually keep in mind how much you're about to lose. That's the first thing that has to be in mind. Now, for example, if I do take that sys, uh, you know, call that I just gave, I'm ready to lose 1.17 percent. I'm OK with that. OK, I understand there's loss coming in. It's OK. People don't care about stop losses. They might see all oh, the green candles. Boom. They, they get the green candles. And what happens next? The red candles. You have to follow the setups. So what I mean by a kid is that, you know, when you take a kid to the park and then you start to um, uh, see the kid playing, you have to keep an eye on that kid. OK, if anyhow, that kid does something stupid, OK, or idiot moves, you know, if he's playing, trying to jump here and there and then falls down then you're going to be considered someone who is irresponsible. So trading Bitcoin and crypto or any altcoins in general is just like taking care of a child and you have to keep your eyes every single damn time because if you take your, your eyes away from the screen or if you don't have a proper plan, if you're not using stop losses, if you're not having the risk reward ratios, if you're not following the setups, if you're just being an emotional trader, if you're not uh, waiting for confirmations and breakouts, you're probably going to lose in trading. And I think uh, preventing losses in crypto is not that difficult as people really think. It's just following a particular set of rules. But that's just a psychological part of it. Right now on the Bitcoin chart, I do have this uh, uh, trend line that I see is getting broken on a one hour time frame. And uh, Bitcoin right now is kind of moving sideways. So it, it was forming a some sort of a you know descending triangle here, but it actually popped to the upside. So if it if that's the case, if that's the case, who knows? Bitcoin might want to go up back up here to this level right over there. But on the daily, uh, I just want to actually talk about something on the daily because the, pointing out the daily is super important. So you still have a negative pattern right now. You still have that uh, uh, you know a hanging man in effect, and probably. Bitcoin might be looking to uh, make some sort of a squeeze here. So let me talk about this squeeze really quickly. There's this upper trend line coming in and then you have uh, the lower trend line as well coming in right over here. So I'm not going to focus on the daily right now. So let's talk about the daily time frame. And you're looking for the apex coming in by 14th of June. Uh, weekend is approaching today's Thursday. So Thursday actually does pump. Let me tell you that uh, Thursday they make false pumps to the upside. Uh, Friday gets a little bit, you know, sideways and maybe by Saturday they start to take the market to the downside. Bitcoin has been creating this huge range. One, two, three, four. Trying to cross this. Always failed. To try. Now it's kind of getting uh, squeezed in a triangle right now. And you might see uh, Bitcoin coming in very, very soon. To make a decision in the next coming two or three days now the best part about uh you know if you want to say that bitcoin is about to move to the upside we really want to see bitcoin crossing this level and i've been saying this previously as well 
so many times it does make fake out like this one you made fake out like that one as well and then you made another fake out like this one so you really need to cross this level with a, with a huge volume potentially go to thirty three thousand dollars come back down here to thirty one thousand six fifty amazing entries and you're going to be looking for thirty four thirty five thousand dollars now remember just as i said you always have to keep uh, the down the, the downward direction in, in mind as well so if it does come down here and lose this level there's a good chance that uh, you're looking for Bitcoin to fill this week and let me tell you historically Bitcoin does love to fill the week as well so I'm gonna just tell you this one very quickly uh, the last time you made the week down here do you see this week right over here yes you did actually make some move to the upside but then again you always came down you filled the week right over there okay there's so many countless examples right now. That's just one of them. And uh, another another one, if I can show you. So if I can actually bring Bitcoin to the side right here, you do have the week over right there. And you are making some a uh, little bit of, uh, you, you see, an upward move like that one. And then you go to the downside. Now, I normally still um, think, okay, it's not a fact. But I just always think that maybe what you see here, this, this one, is almost very identical to what you see right here. Because you you have a falling wedge you broke to the upside make fake outs and then boom go to the downside you have a falling wedge right so these patterns are very identical you go to the upside and then you come down you, you make sideways movement and then you pro probably come down to take the wake at twenty four thousand dollars and move to the downside now i'm not really sure if, if it's ever going to happen but one thing is very very clear to me that you know bitcoin is still finding weekly resistance as a matter of fact you see the, the, the resistance that you see right over here is a resistance that is a very, very long time in the making. It, it, it was a very long time in the making and that actually comes ever since last year, 2021 in January. So few touches, few touches, a uh, few touches there, few touches here. And you can see you are trading below that trend line. Do you see that? That's negative. That's not really good. And that really proves to us that crossing this level, 31,000 or 32,000, is going to be a huge task to invalidate the downtrend. To me, this looks nothing more than loss of a support coming for the retest to continue to the downside. That's all I see. And uh, let's see if you, if you can manage to, because by the end of the day, not, uh, anything is possible. If you do cross it and hold it, we're going to talk about the upward potentials. And that's it for today's update. I'm going to see you in the next one. Allah Hafiz.